On to race number six then. This is our feature race on Wednesday night. It is the Australian Turf Club Trophy, a class three over the 1200 metres. Really strong lineup as well, headed by Perfect Glory. Takes the class drop here, he's a two time winner in this grade. Joyful Union. Blake Shin arrived from Barrier 8. Uh, Breeder Star, good run behind Le Terroir last time out. Uh, natural winner, he's had one start, it was on the all weather. Second up here, Jade Theatre, good behind Le Terroir last time out as well. Monkey Jewelry, who's a, a two time winner at Chartin. Mr. Picasso up in class, last start winner and hardly swears. Barrier two for him. He's won his uh, last two starts and his only two starts this season. Real busy is the horse that's been on the road up to Chung Phra and back in the last month. As you mentioned, Andrew, the uh, ATC trophy always brings together a very strong field and it's again the case. Good to slow. It's, it's a tricky map, this one. You can see there, Smart Leader, three deep. Joyful Union as well, Perfect Glory hunts low, hardly swears. Then you go back, Mr. Picasso, natural winner, J Theatre, Breeder Star. There's no real pace in this at all. So there may be a few tactical changes, potentially from owners, trainers, etc. Yeah, which you say with this horse, because he's drawn wide once again, Joyful Union, he's drawn eight. But look, he, his work's been pretty good. And uh, here's one on the C plus three course before. That was where his win came from. Breeder Star moves nicely. He has. Um, Mostly uh, this season as well. And he hit the line strongly enough. Again, he's drawn awkward, so he's going to need a bit of luck in running as a breeder star. He goes nicely here with this piece. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is um, Hardly Swears. Just while working with Can't Stop the Feeling, he's uh, entered for the weekend. But Hardly Swears, his last two wins have both been impressive. He's the one closest to us. And he hasn't taken a backward step. Uh, all right. So, uh, let's uh, start off, though, with uh, Perfect Glory who comes down in class here. Uh, this is two starts back behind um, Fat Turtle and uh, what's got Athero in this race as well? Yeah, he goes all right, that Athero. Mm. He's been 100 to 1 in his last three, well, close to in his last three starts, has perfect glory at Chartin. He now drops back down into um, Happy Valley. His last win was in this grade. He was off 79, he's now rated 80. His last four draws have been 12, 10, 11 and 13. And now he's drawn one. I don't think you need to be Einstein to sort of look at it and work it all out. Yeah. Alex Lai was there the last three. We actually spoke about him being a long shot type of chance in two of those last three events, and he ran well, but now he gets the drop in grade. Zach jumps on. Um, it all looks like tick, 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 doesn't it? All right, that's uh, perfect, uh, Glory. Joyful Union. I've got a lot of time for this horse, Joyful Union. And, uh, Mr Picasso has won since this. Scratch from his last start because he was off his tucker for a while, but he is a horse that's got plenty of ability. Um, ben young has been patient with him, and I think his patience will be rewarded at some stage. Whether it's Wednesday night in this event, I'm not sure, but he's still a work in progress. Yeah, he's drawn a little bit awkward. I've got him in on a very minor line because I think there's definitely ability there with him. Don't know what it's like to be off your food, but um, obviously he's had that problem as well. <laughs> what about your drink? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> Fed and water. Fed and water is good. Hardly swears. Speaking um, of which. <laughs> he looks like he's, he's still improving. Uh, his two wins this season have been um, enormous. Um, he comes up in class here but gets no weight as a result. No, he's a nice horse, definitely. He got a good turn of foot. Um, and yes, there's still more to come from him, definitely. How far he can go is the question. But there's a few in this race that are on the way forward. He and I think still perfect glory. But yeah, with a light weight, um, he should be hard to hold out. Yeah, I've got him in there as well. I think he's a, he's going really well, this horse at the moment. All right, so it's the, the handicaps, the story here. Chances right at the top, right at the bottom. Which way do you go, Paul? I'm going to go with a horse I think will be a good price. He's he's been paying 60s and 70s in his last couple of starts. He's at nine early, but I think he'll drift out to about 14 as Jade Theatre. He's, he's, he's improved this horse last couple of starts, and he's won off this rating before. He's actually won off one high at 73, he's rated 72, and he's a three-time winner over the course and distance, so I'm going to take a chance to upset some of these favourites, so he's on top, perfect glory we've talked about, Hardly Swears we've talked about, and Joyful Union, so 8, 1, 12 and 2, but I'm going to go each way the 8. Yeah, I'm a bit like Andrew here, I'm going to start working from the outside and gradually make my way in. Like your stakes. Like many things in life, Paul. <laughs> 1, 12, 10 and 2, perfect glory, Hardly Swears, the two bookends... And then I'll sneak in a little bit further and go Monkey Jewelry, who was very short in the betting last time he was scheduled to run. Obviously, we didn't have that meeting go forward, but the betting suggested he was going to run particularly well that night. So he's a definite inclusion, and I'll watch the market closely. Joyful Union, and then I sort of went real busy, and uh, Beauty Spark obviously might be the leader with a £10 claim. So, yeah. 
1 and 12 bookends for me to run the queue. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Hardly Swears um, off that lightweight. Um, I think there's still more to come with him, but it's a good race. That's mm. the feature, the uh, Australian Turf Club trophy. Still three more races to go, three good ones as well, a Class 2 and a two Class 3s. The seventh is next for us, 1,000-metre dash for the next.